katagatame, the shoulder holding. Remember now, this is a kihon no kata. It's just to give you a demonstration so that you understand the waza. The target here is to make sure that you push the arm across. The elbow fits right in the palm cup of my hand. This way I have control. Here, if I'm pushing here, he still, see there? But here, when I have this, he could push. But you see how much more leverage I have? I put it right in the cup. See how nicely it fits? And I'm pushing. When I push here, this hand comes down, and I immediately drop my shoulder. That's very important to drop your shoulder down first. Put the shoulder down. Then this comes around here like this. Now, you see, I have control. I just have his shoulder against my shoulder. And then once you're here, then this hand can come underneath. The left hand, palm is up, and you slide here. You see how I have the thumbs locked? Not recommended. People do this, not really recommended. This, to me, has always been the most effective. You see this lock right here? When I lock this way here, I can pull. And you see how it stays locked? If he pulls against it, you see I have the thumb here, it's locked. The fingers here is locked. I want to get my knee up very close to him. I want to put it underneath the ribs. When you're here, you come down, look at the space. Anytime there's a space, it's an opportunity for escape. If you come in tight, it's hard for them to turn. They can't turn in this way here. And when they turn that way, you have it locked this way. So you have a really good, hopefully, escape-proof fence around them. Right hand comes underneath, comes right at the base of his neck. Used to practice so much on the tatami that you would rub your knuckles raw. Which call me. Pretty soon, there's nothing there. So I say, I just go to the ocean, put your hand in the ocean. It burned, boy, that sucker healed up pretty good. And yeah, we're ready for practice the next day. Shoulder down here. Now this is gonna push in. I'm gonna pull and push at the same time. Now, remember, if you over push, they'll just use that push against you and pull you over. If you under push, they'll turn into you and they'll create a space. So you wanna try and get all of these ingredients in the recipe just right. Now, the angle of the push is this way. It's not that way. And it's not that way. If I'm pushing, I'm pushing this way. Over right here, I'm pushing this way. The upper arm, it pushes it into him. If I push this way, it pushes that way. If I push this way, it comes down loose, and he could take advantage of it. When I push this way here, you notice how it covers his mouth and nose? That impedes breathing, oh, and that's the goal, just like a constrictor. Each time he takes a breath, you move in closer, closer, closer. They may not give up, but eventually their desire to escape lessens because they figured out, you know, there's no way to escape. Now you notice that I'm on the ball of my feet, both of them. I don't have the heels here. I'm pulling in. I bring my elbow back. A lot of people have their elbow out here. I bring mine back. And then if he tries to roll me, I can bring my elbow out. So I have it nice and tight. You could sprawl out, stay down low. I don't find this particularly effective. Or you could come into this hurdler's position. Once again, I don't find this particularly effective. It's hard for me to get any leverage. You could switch into those positions and switch back. Everything is situational. Depends on how your opponent reacts. Now, don't raise your rear end. Keep your rear end down as low as you can. Sometimes you can drop your toes here like this and then bring them back up. But once you do that, you notice here when I sprawl down like that, it opens space. So you have to be careful of that. A preponderance of the pressure comes not from this, but from this. See here? Because this is only a few pounds, this is 100 pounds. You're expending a great deal of energy by trying to squeeze, whereas this way here when you're pushing, it's your legs, your toes, your hips, your upper torso that's pushing against it. Certainly much more effective than just your arm. 